Hello students, I am going to tell you the summary of chapter A Letter to God. It is written by G. L. Fuentes, which depicts the firm faith of a poor and simple-minded farmer named Lecho in God. Lecho was a poor yet dedicated farmer. He was hoping for a decent harvest. To his dismay, a hailstorm suddenly destroyed all his crops and the harvest completely. Seeing the damage, the poor farmer was taken aback and felt sad. However, he had a strong faith in God. He was a learned man who knew how to read and write. Due to his straightforward nature, he was certain that God would definitely help him. Thus, he decided to draft a letter to God while addressing his financial concerns to him. In the letter, he requested God to send him 100 pesos to sow his fiends again and save his family from starvation. Soon he wrote a letter and went to the post office. He placed a stamp on the letter and dropped it into the mailbox. When the postman took out the letter from the letterbox, he laughed heartily after reading it. He immediately rushed to the postmaster and showed him the strange letter. The postmaster read the letter but laughed out loud when he noticed that the letter was addressed to God. However, he was also moved by the faith of the farmer. He lauded raised the poor farmer's unquestionable faith in God and decided to help him. Soon, he asked the employees of the post office to contribute some money as charity and also gave a part of his salary so that Lecho's faith in God is not shaken. However, the money collected was a little less than what Lecho had requested from God. The postmaster then put all the money collected in an envelope and addressed it to the poor farmer. The following Sunday, Lecho went to the post office to check if there was a letter for him. The postmaster gently handed over the letter to him. Lecho was not surprised at all to see the letter with money inside the envelope. He confidently opened the envelope to count the money but became angry when he saw that there were only 70 pesos in it. He was sure that God could have never made such a grave mistake. He instantly went to the window to ask for paper and ink and wrote another letter to God and dropped it into the letterbox. When Lecho had left the place, the postmaster opened and read his letter immediately. In it, Lecho had raised a complaint to God that he had initially requested 100 pesos, but he was upset to find 70 pesos only. Furthermore, he criticized the post office employees and felt that they must have stolen the remaining 30 pesos from his envelope. He urged God to send him the rest of the money since he was in urgent need of it. However, he requested God not to send the money through the mail because Lecho thought that the post office employees were a bunch of crooks who might have stolen the remaining money from the envelope. Conclusion of a letter to God in the chapter a letter to God, we learned that faith in God has the power to move mountains and satisfy our needs. However, it should satisfy our needs. However, it should also be noted that humanity also prevails in the midst of one's faith in the Almighty. This story beautifully sketches Lecho's deep faith in God and how the post office employees helped him anonymously by contributing money from their pockets to help the poor man in crisis. Hope this summary help you to understand the chapter briefly but need to read the chapter through NCERT too.